Welcome to Fit for Life with Karen. Today we're going to talk about strength training. It's our strength training day and we are using weights. If you don't have them ready, please go and get your weights. We're going to talk about ADLs. Do you know what those are, what those acronyms are? It's activities of daily living. The things, some of these things we have to do every day, others we can choose to do. But again, ADLs, activities of daily living. Um, and what they are is grooming. You have to be able to take care of yourself in that way. Your hygiene is important. Dressing is one of them. Dressing yourself, being able to talk to yourself so that you, know, you have to be ambulatory so that you can get to the place that you're going. Um, eating, even eating, not so much. You don't need a lot of strength to do that, but that is considered in that group. Um, and these things are determinants of whether you're going to go into a nursing home or assisted living or independent living. So that's why I thought of this. I said, well, if today is our strength training day, let's talk about activities of daily living and why we need strength. And so strength is required in most of your activities of daily living. So that's why strength training, and I believe this is the most important fitness component of all six of them. And that's why we're going to concentrate on strength training today. So we're going to start with the upper body and then we're going to go to the lower body. So just, you know, get fairly comfortable, but still always watch your posture. So the first thing we're going to do is what we always do. We're going to do a bicep curl. Bring that weight right up to your shoulders and then four seconds to get down. Remember that? It's almost the same for all of them. Breathing out and slowly down. That's where you gain the strength on that second movement. Again, breathing out. We can go up pretty fast, but slowly down. Again. And one, two, three, and four. We just don't want you to hold your breath. You don't have to do this on every single one, but it does kind of remind us to breathe properly. So let's breathe out again. We'll say five, slowly down. Your elbows are into your body, just like this. It's easier to do, it's more comfortable. It gives you a little bit of support. Number six, all the way up and slowly down. How does that feel today? Let's try it again. And slowly down. It's my day to do this too. Breathing up. Breathing out, sorry. Slowly down. Let's do one more. Breathing out again. And then just your natural breathing. Let's take a little rest. Now the range is 8 to 12. If you want to do 12, that's fine. Or 10, whatever you'd like to do. Now I'd like to make it a little more interesting. Normally you would do at least two sets of everything. Three is okay. That's once you you are able to do that. So let's come forward in the chair. You're looking at the palms of your hands. They're not turned over this way, all the way down straight. So that should be fairly comfortable. Let's put one foot in front for leverage. And you're going to breathe out as you come up. And then still four seconds all the way down. Let's try it again. Breathing out. In one, two, three, and four. Again, slowly down. So technique is important, isn't it? All the way up. I'm gonna say this is five, maybe four. Let's make it five. Six, slowly down. And seven. So we go up pretty fast, take our time. Let's try one more all the way up and slowly down. So if you're a beginner, you would do one set or even half a set. As long as you're moving, I'm happy. So those are called bicep curls. Uh, what about your triceps now? Hmm. Right under here, this lovely area. Um, we need to exercise that area too. You may not you know, see the results because of the skin. It's the skin that's loose and is kind of 
flabby here. We hate that word, but so it will make the muscle stronger though. And uh, if you were lifting really heavy weights, um, it would they would get large enough to fill in that area. The only way I, f I think, especially for our age group, is to get surgery. And even that can be a little problematic as we age, right? And it's kind of painful. So let's, let's just stay strong and wear long sleeves. All right, arms down. Let's turn the weights so that they're horizontal. Make sure you have room. And you're gonna come forward, but not, you know, don't collapse. Keep your back straight as you come forward out to the side a little bit so you're not hitting the chair and bring that weight all the way up and you're going to feel this one and slowly down and you're tightening your abdomen when you do these two so that's great breathing out and coming up slowly coming down slowly breathe out and then down the down one is a little difficult isn't it breathing out again slowly down five coming up breathing out and slowly down and if it's too much just stop breathing out let's do can you do two more let's try it and we'll try one more so this is for the triceps and let's place the weights right here and rest for a minute. Drop your chin down and then come up, look up at the ceiling and let's just very gently turn the head from side to side just to loosen up all those muscles you've been tensing. Let's do an eardrop to the side. This is another exercise that we can do, another way that the, the Head can move and stretch the neck a little bit. Good. Um, let's work on our hands. Let's start with the fingers to strengthen the fingers a little bit and the rest of the hand too. Just holding on, if you have weights that look like this, holding on to the round area, not with your palm flat on it, but just your fingertips. If it's too much, just don't do it. But try it, lift up and down. Just do your natural breathing. Don't hold your breath on this. Natural breathing. Good. Try it again. Up. Again, you're tightening the abdomen. You're tightening almost everything in the upper body. Great. Let's try to do three more. And it's, it's tough if you're not used to it. If you're using three pound weights or five pound weights or more, you're going to feel this. And it might not even be a good idea to do it with heavy weights like that. So I feel that you, you know what you can do at this stage of our life. But you know what, maybe you don't know that you can keep yourself in much better shape by doing exercises and walking and eating right. All right, I'm gonna rest your forearms on the arms of the chair. Let the hand extend beyond the end of the arm on the chair and just twist back and forth. You could do it without holding on you know, without putting the arms down on the chair, but whichever one is more comfortable for you, just twisting back and forth is good for your hand and your wrist and your forearms too, actually. So this isn't too bad, right? Back and forth. We need strength in our hands and our wrists, our arms. No, I haven't been counting, but that's okay. Let's rest the arms on your quads, your quadriceps, or your thighs. Don't let the weight drop down like this. Make sure your hand and your arm are on one plane. And just do little curls. We're not lifting up, we're just curling the hand up. It might be difficult with arthritis. Do what you can do. And three, that's a great strengthener. Great strengthener. And five, and six, and seven. We could probably do 10 of these, and this is nine coming up, and then 10, good. Let's rest for just a minute. Lift your shoulders up and down. Doesn't that feel good? I didn't plan to do this, just thought it might be a good idea. Good, how about one shoulder forward, 
forward and back just to loosen that up a little bit. You can feel that in the neck a little bit, not much. So just to stay nice and flexible, good. All right. Now, again, for the hand and the forearm, forearms down on the arms of the chair, we're going to sit back. Don't rest back like this. You can keep your back away from the chair. I just didn't want you down here. So again, we're going to do a curl, but you're looking at the top of your hand now. We've turned those weights over, and you're just going to move the hand up. This one might be a little bit easier. And three, so it's a reverse curl. That's what I like to call it. We'll say four and five and six. You want to maintain the strength in your hands so you can do things for yourself. Speaking of ADLs, right? Activities of daily living. We want to be able to maintain as much as we can with aging so that we can be independent, take care of ourselves. Um, let's grab some water. Maybe you have lemon water too today, as long as you're not allergic to lemons. I've never met anyone that was allergic to lemons, actually. All right, now for your upper back and your shoulders, your trapezius across your upper back, we're going to do some flies. You can bring your weights together. They don't have to touch the whole time, but you're going to go out. Can you feel that? And slowly back. Try it again. Out. Kind of like this one. And out. Yay, we did it. Slowly back. Out again. This is four. And five. And six. So we're spending a lot of time on the upper body, but we're going to spend just as much time on the lower body, too. I, I lost count. Let's do one more. Good. We're almost done. Let's rest. Drop that chin down. I like doing this. It feels good. It really does. Drop it right down. All right, and then you're going to bring your head back up. Now I'm going to give you another one. We're going to cross over. Put one weight right here on the arm of the chair. Cross over and slowly back. You don't have to rest your weight here unless you want to. Breathing out. I like it. Oh, it matches my top a little bit, doesn't it, huh? Whoops. Breathing out. Good. So again, upper back, arms, hands, strengthening all of those areas. Reaching across. Say this is five. And back. And six. So it's slow on the return. Seven. Good. We'll do one more. And eight. Great. So let's rest. Rest that arm. Let's move our heads from side to side this time. We'll look up. And then we'll look down. All right. Now we have to do the other side. Are you ready? Let's start right here this time. Breathing out as you I got some crunchies in my back. I could feel that. Breathing out and back slowly. This will be our last one today, okay? For the upper body. Breathing out, across and back. Four coming up, across and slowly back. And five. And six. Slowly, and seven, slowly, and one more, and out, and back. So we'll just put our weights aside because we have to work on the lower body. Grab some water if you need it. Do a little stretch if you want. Arms up, good. You can give yourselves a hug. You did a great job pulling yourself forward, good. Now to stretch your hands out a little bit, I'd like you to do this. Stop. 
So this is flat, your palm is flat if possible. Pull those fingers back, because we've been, you know, clenching. Good. And you can hold it if you want. Try the other side. This one feels good. Great. We're going to circle. Circle those hands. Good. And then back the other way. Good. Each finger to the thumb. Wonderful. Now we're going to do our famous sit stand. Uh, this, this really does help to keep those legs strong. Not just for getting up and down, but for walking. Which in turn will give you better balance, right? So we're just going to come up. Stay there, don't move forward, and then come back down again. We're just going to do four today because I have a lot to give you and I want to make sure we get it all in. Normally, uh, I'd like you to work up to eight if you could. Coming back up and slowly down and again up and slowly down. But yeah, you know what, I think we are going to sit down just for a little bit to do a few strengthening exercises in the chair to show you that you, you don't have to stand up for every single exercise. But it, it does help, but we're going to do some, if some people maybe cannot stand for any length of time. So you can strength right in the chairs and strengthen your legs. So all you're going to do is just straighten that leg, flex the foot. I'm going to slide forward just a little bit. We're going to bounce one. Tightening here, strengthening here. Great. Five and six, seven and eight. We're going to do 16, 10, 11, 12. Great. 13, 14, 15, 16. Just doing that will strengthen this. Okay, the other side. Let's flex that foot and bounce. One and two and three and four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Can you feel that? Yes. Um, another thing we could also do on the chair, uh, depending on how heavy your weights are, if this is too much for your leg, and you're really not supposed to do it, I don't want you to do it. So Let's put one hand up here on the chair, the other leg out straight. If you can put the weight right here on the leg, um, I would say anything over five pounds. Maybe you shouldn't be doing that at all, but, but you know best. So let's bounce it, flex the foot again, and one, and two, and three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. Let's do the other leg right here. Straight out, flex, and one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. Um, let's try it with a bent knee, though. Lift up and hold it, hold it. A little different, isn't it? Just hold that up there. Let's try the other side. One, and two. You can count to eight or whatever you think you can do. Push yourself a little bit. Again, just lift and hold. So, as I said, you can do it in a chair, too. You can do strength training. If you're sitting too long, watching Netflix, uh, you've got to move. You, you can't sit for three hours. You really shouldn't sit for, they, they say, the experts, more than half an hour without moving, without moving something. So we're going to lift that leg up and just stay right there. All right. Okay. Now, I am going to put these down just for a minute. Grab some water, as I said. Just relax a little bit. Stretch, stretch those legs out. Lift your legs up. Flex those feet back and point. Make sure your back is away from the chair. Arms out. And let's do an under and over. This, too, will strengthen. We've already done this, but we're going to do it again. And then if you use the arms, you're still strengthening your legs. So that's, that's a real easy one, I think. But we are going to stand just, just for a few minutes. So I'm going to come forward in the chair a little bit. Now you can put your arms out here. You can put them here. You can put them here. Whatever you want to try. So I'm going to stand right up without holding on. Now normally if you were doing that exercise, you would do at least eight of those. I call them the sit stands. All right. 
Now what about, I'm going to turn my chair so you can see me. What about the hamstring back here and back of your thigh? It's kind of, kind of easy really. Let's do this first, kicking out one and two and three and four, just loosening up a little bit, just stretching those quadriceps we were just working, right? Again, one and two, and it feels good, and three and four and five and six and seven and eight, all right? Let's just relax the legs a little bit, a little bit of a knee bend here. Great. How far down can you go? Now you're stretching your calf muscles, which is great. All right. But we're going to do a strengthening exercise for the hamstring. So let's just point to the back. Point. Just lift that leg up. Up. Hold it and bring it down. Up. Hold it. You can hold it longer if you want. And down. Up. And bring it down. Try it again. Up. And bring it down. It's, it's a little bit more ambitious. Up. Maybe not quite as comfortable as the quadricep exercises. Holding it up. And try to do 10. It's also great for the glutes, the lower back. Up again. And just hold that as long as you can. Bounce it a little bit. One, two, Three, four, great. <sighs> Let's rest. Bend those knees. Soft knee, we call it, when, you, when there's a, a bend in the knee rather than locking the legs. It's called soft knee. But we have two legs. We have to do both sides, right? So you're going to point back and lift up. One, hold it and put it down. Lift up. If it's uncomfortable, if it hurts, anything hurts, we all have back problems at some point in our life. So let's lift up again, put that down, and lift down. Again, you can hold these longer when you have more time, or you can bounce it. And when you bounce it, you might want to flex that foot a little because the toe might hit the floor each time. So just bouncing that leg. You know, you can feel that. All right. So that's very, very good for your hamstrings. So what about your lower leg, though? Let's check our time here. I'm thinking um, I would like to do both the front and the back. All right. So let's relax a little bit. Stay down here. While you're down here, I'd like you to lift your heels up and then put them down and lift up. Just the heels, but your knees are bent. One more time. And four. Now put your heels down and stand up nice and straight. We're not bending the knees. And you're going to lift just the heels. One. Can you feel that? And two. You should feel that in your calf muscle. So it's getting tight. The muscle is contracting. So we're going to have to stretch it out afterwards. So up again, lift those heels up. We should do about 10. You might want to do a couple of sets, but this will strengthen your foot and your ankle and your calf muscle, and that's really important. You want to be able to walk. You want to be able to have good balance. Balance is the issue, and strength training is one of the many things we can do for it. All right, let's bend those knees one more time. Lift the heels up and stay there for a few seconds. Good. And then we're going to do a nice stretch before we sit back down. So we're just going to walk back. Your arms are straight. Just walk back as much as you can without pulling that chair up. Right? All right. So let's try to flatten that back out as much as possible. I have to go back a little bit more and try to flatten and come down a little bit more, a little bit more. Wonderful. Oh, yes. Oh, does that feel good? Let's walk back up slowly. Good. Now take one arm and just think of patting yourself on the back. Put one foot forward, same arm and leg, right? Push those hips forward a little. We'll do our back bend. We love this one. 
Make sure you're holding on and you're kind of pushing your hips or the pelvic area forward to protect your back. All right. So let's do, let's do this again. I love this movement. This is our table back. Nice and flat. See if you can go down a little bit more this time. You can feel that stretch all the way down the back of your knees, your calves, your hamstrings, everything. The other arm, just pat yourself on the back. Same leg, put in front, hips forward a little bit. And let's do our back bend. Great. Wonderful. All right, let's come back up slowly. Now I'm going to let you sit down again. I'm going to relax. I've worked you very hard today. So I want you to know that it's important to do strength training um, twice, two to three times a week. If you're just starting out, twice a week is good, and then you might want to work up to maybe three sets a week. So um, if you want to maintain your independence, not have to worry about your ADLs, um, not have to live somewhere else, you want to stay in your own home, take care and be independent, you need strength training. Really, really important. Let's take one breath together to relax. Breathing up and exhale out. Doesn't that feel good? Just drop down, feet open. This is a nice exercise. And I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope you get something out of this. Um, you've done something good for yourself. Keep that in mind. Uh, think about your friends that don't exercise at all. Try to get them to maybe take a walk with you. We're just trying to take care of ourselves, right? So thanks again for joining. I will see you soon. Bye for now.